Kentucky track and field coach Edric Florial never likes to come into the NCAA championships with a target on his team's back. But for one of his athletes, expectations, internal and external, are sky high. At 18 years old, Sydney McLaughlin has already been an Olympian, part of a world record medley relay, and she set the NCAA record this spring in the 400-meter hurdles, 52.75 seconds, in only her third run at it as a collegian. McLaughlin qualified for the 2016 Olympics at Eugene, Oregon's famed Hayward Field, site of this week's NCAA championships, as a high schooler. I'm just excited to be back there, McLaughlin said. It's a really fast track. I've run some of my best races there, so we'll see what happens, hailed as a one-and-done talent by her coach. McLaughlin hasn't indicated whether this week will be her last appearance as a wildcat, but she credits Florial for her growth on and off the track. It's been better than I thought, McLaughlin said of her freshman experience. We did try to do short hurdles. I think that is an event that just takes more time. Technique-wise, we just didn't have the time this year. While honing McLaughlin's technique in the 400-meter hurdles, Floriel has tried to keep the pressure off McLaughlin by keeping her busy in other events. She ran NCAA qualifying times in the 100, 200 and 400-meter dashes at various points in the outdoor season. I've moved her around so much, it's become like a where's Waldo game trying to find Sydney, Floriel said. But once she set the 400-meter hurdles collegiate record 52.75 at the SEC Championships last month, it became clear that would be her focus at the NCAAs. She knows and she recognizes what's at stake. Floriel said of McLaughlin, who will likely also run a leg in UK's 4x400 relay. If you're going to be a one-and-done, you're going to have to learn to live with that pressure, ranked as the no. Four women's team with what he feels is a squad strong enough to win it all in the no. Thirteen men's team with a great shot of breaking into the top ten, Floriel has the field right where he wants them. The expectations are not based on what other people think about us. The expectations are based on what we think about ourselves and what we can do as a team. Floriel said. I like being fourth for sure with a really good chance to win. Dot dot dot. If we can make top 10 on the men's side, I'd be happy as a clam. Now it's up to him to get all his athletes to relax and perform. This time of year when you're going to a championship, everybody's on edge and you've got things to adjust, you've got tweaks and things that make a difference between breaking a collegiate record and not making the finals. Those little tweaks are not as physical as they are mental, nerves, things like that, experience will help. UK brings a former NCAA champion in the 100-meter hurdles in Jasmine Camacho win. It also boasts the defending outdoor champion in the pole vault in Olivia Groover. It doesn't change anything for me, Groover said of being the defending champ. I'm still going to go in there like I'm on the bottom and I'm going to try to get on the top. It's great to go in there knowing I can get back on top and defend my title again. Tim Duckworth comes in as the no. One ranked the athlete and NCAA indoor heptathlon champion. Despite a mistake that ruined the event for him last year, the rest of the event was a huge confidence builder for this season. That was the real kick that I needed, Duckworth said of being on pace for a personal best in last year's NCAAs. It fell apart on the last event, but it made me realize that I can go up there and compete with the best. Kentucky will be sending 10 women and 9 men to Eugene, the most male athletes in Florial's tenure. I feel good about the potential and the talent. I feel good about the training," Floriel said. I think we've just got to take a deep breath and kind get ourselves together and embrace the challenge. NCAA Outdoor Track and Field Championships when Wednesday through Saturday where Hayward Field in Eugene, or Wednesday's TV, ESPNU, 7.30pm, Defending Team Champions, Florida, Men, and Oregon, Women.